Hey, what's up, it's Tacklist. Today we're gonna to be doing a Project Spark tutorial on how to do multiple camera angles within one character. And we're also gonna be looking at things like um, the maximum view distance from your character, angles that it allows you to do, and how to toggle between third person and first person view. So, what we've got here is we've got a character, and I've made the camera pretty close to the character. Um, this is closer than the camera usually sits to a third person character, not a lot closer. But let's say that we wanted to zoom out a bit. I'm going to click the right joystick. We're going to zoom out to here. That's a little bit farther than usual. That's a nice wide view. That would be a good combat view, so to speak. But, better yet, what if you were in farther out view, like this? Now your character is becoming pretty tiny. But now, I change the angle limitations so you can look straight down at him. And, if I click it one more time, I go first person view. Pretty nifty, huh? This is surprisingly easy to do. So, let's get into it. So, we've got our character, and I'm gonna grab a default third person adventure brain, so we can start from scratch. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna delete the current camera. Second thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna do started to, controls, click uh, right stick, we're going to create a variable. I know this is a beginner tutorial and that we're dealing with variables, but don't worry, this is super easy. We're going to call this camera um, angle. There we go. And then we're going to do increment up by one. Then we're going to create some more lines of code. Click the left joystick to make more lines of code. We're going to do when camera angle is equal to zero. This is gonna be our tight third person camera. So, we're going to go to camera, follow camera, and we're going to do transition easing, flat easing, um, transition time. I'm gonna make this really fast. So I'm gonna put it to 0.3. That is a transition time between each camera. And if you have other cameras in your world, this will also be the transition time. Uh, let me see if I can get this straight. The transition time back to this camera, I believe. I believe that's correct. Uh, next, we're going to go to positioning, max distance. We're going to put this one to four. Now, because this one's close up, I also want to make it so minimum distance is two. That means that if the camera comes across something in the terrain, um, it will squeeze closer to the player than four, but only to two. So it won't go closer than one. I think that's one foot. And let's see. That's all we need to do for this. Now from here it's pretty easy. We're going to copy and paste that. And I'm going to change this to 1, and I'm going to change the max distance to 10. Yep, that seems about right. We're going to copy and paste that again. When 2, I'm going to do trend, uh, max distance 20. Now, 20 or 30 work pretty well. It just depends on how far away you want this camera view to be. Now, I want this to also be able to be an overhead camera if the player so desires. And the current angle limitations do not let me do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do positioning max pitch. And we're going to do the number 90, as in 90 degrees. There we go. And we have one final camera view to do. That is number 3, which is, instead of follow camera, I'm going to insert a new camera, which is a first-person camera. And we can get rid of all these max distance, max pitch things. But we want to keep the transition easing to flat easing, transition time to one third of a second. And finally, we're going to tell the game to cycle uh, when you try to go past this camera angle to go back to camera angle number one. So, when camera angle greater than or equal to four, then going to copy and paste camera angle. Camera angle equals zero. 
Simple as that. Now I could use the clamp feature. However, I want this to be a one button input so that it toggles through them and then repeats. The clamp feature uh, would limit me so I couldn't go past three, but it would not take me back to zero. So I hope that makes sense. Um, now let's give this guy a try. All right, so here's our kind of close up angle. Here's our medium angle and as you can see, we're still limited at I believe a 45, it could be a 55 degree angle. We can't go higher than that. But then when we switch to the far out view, I can look straight down at him and I click again and I'm first person. That's super easy. Now something to be aware of, especially if you're making a multiplayer game, is that, let me toggle through them. If you watch carefully when I switch to first person, my, uh, my player's body turns invisible which is really, really annoying when you want to make a multiplayer world because your player body turns invisible to all the other players. So keep that in mind if you're going to do a multiplayer world that you pretty much have to stick with third person. So if you watch carefully when I zoom in, he'll disappear. See? Um, if you're making a, a, a solo world, it's no problem at all. But So yeah, that's the tutorial. Pretty darn easy stuff. Um, Really quickly, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who participated in my 500 subscriber giveaway. I have sent all the codes out from that. I'm really happy with how that came out. Um, yeah, so thank you all for that. Thank you very much for helping me hit 500 subscribers. And I will see you guys later.